Imagine a rock, but not just any rock, a rock that has been floating, spinning and zooming through the vast emptiness of space for billions of years. Welcome to the enigmatic world of asteroids, the rocky, airless remnants that have silently survived the test of time. These aren't ordinary rocks, they are celestial bodies that have witnessed the birth and evolution of our solar system, having been around for about 4.6 billion years. Yes, you heard that right, billion with a B. Asteroids are like the leftover building blocks of the solar system, the pieces that never quite made it into the planets and moons we recognize today. They are scattered throughout space, with the majority residing in a region known as the Asteroid Belt, located between Mars and Jupiter. This vast asteroid belt is a sort of cosmic minefield, a swirling disk of millions of asteroids, ranging in size from tiny pebbles to giants measuring hundreds of miles across. But don't let the term belt fool you. These asteroids aren't neatly lined up like the beads on a string. Instead, they're more like pieces of cosmic confetti strewn across an unimaginably vast space, each following its own unique orbit around the Sun. These asteroids are more than just space debris. They're like the cosmic archaeologists of our solar system, each one holding clues to the distant past. Every crater, every boulder and every grain of asteroid dust tells a story about the early solar system. From the materials that couldn't quite form a planet, to the violent collisions that have shaped them over billions of years, asteroids have witnessed it all. In a way, they're like time capsules. Each asteroid is a snapshot of what the universe looked like in its infancy. By studying them, we can hope to understand more about the origin of our solar system and perhaps even the secrets of life itself. These ancient space rocks silently drifting through the cosmos are like time capsules holding secrets of our solar system's past. Scene script. Have you ever wondered how these space rocks came into existence? Well, let's journey back, way back, to a time before our Earth our Sun and even our solar system existed. Picture a vast cosmic cloud, an interstellar nursery filled with gas and dust floating in the infinite expanse of space. This was the primordial soup from which our solar system was born approximately four and a half billion years ago. In this swirling chaos, gravity began to pull particles together, creating a spinning disk of material. At the heart of this disk, our sun ignited, its intense heat and gravity shaping the surrounding matter. But the sun didn't consume everything. Around it, smaller clumps of matter began to coalesce, forming the planets of our solar system. These protoplanets swept up much of the material in their path, growing larger and larger. However, not everything was swept up by these forming planets. In the region between Mars and Jupiter, a sort of cosmic no-man's land, the gravitational influence of the massive Jupiter prevented a planet from forming. Instead, the material here coalesced into millions of smaller bodies. These are the asteroids, the forgotten remnants of our solar system's birth. These rocky bodies are a diverse bunch, ranging in size from tiny specks to objects hundreds of kilometers across. Each asteroid is a time capsule, preserving the conditions of the early solar system. They're like the leftover bricks and mortar from the construction of our cosmic neighborhood. So, when you gaze up at the night sky, remember the asteroids. These seemingly insignificant specks of light are actually silent witnesses to the birth of our solar system. They've been zipping around our sun for billions of years, a testament to the incredible process that gave birth to our world and the worlds beyond. So, in essence, these asteroids are the building blocks left over from the creation of our planets. Asteroids are not just simple rocks, they are complex entities, each one unique in its composition. As we delve into the composition of these celestial bodies, we find that they are as varied as the planets themselves. Asteroids, often referred to as minor planets or planetoids, can be composed of a myriad of different materials. Some are primarily made up of rock, others predominantly of metal, and many are a fascinating blend of both. This diversity in composition is partly due to the various regions of the solar system in which they formed, and the materials that were available at the time of their creation. Rocky asteroids, for example, 
are often found in the outer regions of the asteroid belt, where temperatures were cooler during the formation of the solar system. These asteroids are generally darker and more carbon-rich. They are like time capsules, preserving the primitive material from the early solar system. On the other hand, metallic asteroids, largely composed of iron and nickel, are usually found in the inner regions of the asteroid belt. These are remnants from the early solar system, often believed to be the shattered cores of planetesimals that were disrupted by collisions. But asteroids aren't just solitary chunks of rock or metal floating in space. Some asteroids have moons, smaller bodies orbiting them. These binary asteroids consist of two bodies of roughly equal size, orbiting their common center of mass. They provide astronomers with valuable insights into the diversity and complexity of the asteroid belt. Then there are the rare type of asteroids known as rubble piles. These are loosely bound conglomerates of rock and metal held together by the weak force of gravity. They are thought to be remnants of catastrophic collisions between larger asteroids. Finally, let's not forget the icy asteroids, or comets, which originate from the colder, outer regions of the solar system. These are composed of frozen gases, dust and rocky material. Indeed, Asteroids are as diverse as they are numerous, each one a unique testament to the rich complexity of our universe. Asteroids, while fascinating, can also be harbingers of destruction. Imagine, if you will, the serene tranquility of a prehistoric world, suddenly shattered by an object hurtling down from the sky, bringing with it chaos and obliteration. This is not the plot of a science fiction novel, but rather a theory that many scientists believe could explain the extinction of the dinosaurs. Yes, the colossal dinosaurs that once dominated our planet could have been wiped out by an asteroid impact. This theory, known as the Alvarez hypothesis, suggests that a 10-mile-wide asteroid struck our planet about 65 million years ago, causing a mass extinction event. The impact would have triggered a chain of catastrophic events, from tsunamis to a nuclear winter effect caused by dust and debris blocking the sun's rays. However, not all asteroids are potential planet killers. In fact, most are quite small, and a good number of them burn up in our atmosphere before they can reach the Earth's surface. But it's the larger ones, those over one kilometer in diameter, that we need to keep an eye on. That's why astronomers around the world are working tirelessly to track near-Earth objects or NEOs. Using advanced technologies, they monitor the skies, keeping a lookout for any asteroids that might stray too close to our home planet. And should they spot a potential threat, well, there are contingency plans in place. These range from deflection strategies, nudging the asteroid off its collision course, to last resort options like nuclear explosions. But it's not all doom and gloom. Asteroids, despite their potential for destruction, also offer us a valuable opportunity to learn more about our solar system. They are, after all, remnants from the early solar system, frozen in time. By studying them, we can gain insights into the formation and evolution of our own planet. While asteroids may pose a threat to life on Earth, they also offer us an opportunity to learn more about our universe and our place in it. As we look to the future, asteroids may play a key role in our journey into the cosmos. Imagine a world where we no longer deplete Earth's resources for our needs. Instead, we turn our gaze to the stars, to the plentiful asteroids that hold untold riches. This is not the stuff of science fiction, but a prospect that may soon become reality. Space mining, a term once relegated to the realms of speculative fiction, is now a serious consideration for many scientists and entrepreneurs. These celestial bodies are not just chunks of rock and metal, they are treasure troves teeming with valuable resources. Precious metals like gold, platinum and palladium, as well as elements like hydrogen and oxygen, essential for rocket fuel, are all locked within these space rocks. Harnessing these resources could revolutionize space travel, making interplanetary journeys more sustainable and economically viable. But asteroids offer more than just material wealth. They are time capsules, remnants from the early solar system that have remained largely unchanged for billions of years. Studying them can give us important insights 
into the birth of our own planet and the processes that led to life as we know it. They might even hold clues to one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? By studying asteroids, we could uncover signs of ancient microbial life, pointing to the possibility of life on other worlds. As our technology advances and our understanding deepens, we are poised to unlock the immense potential of asteroids. They could transform our economies, fuel our journey to the farthest reaches of space, and help unravel the mysteries of our cosmic origins. From their origins to their potential future, asteroids are a fascinating part of our universe. They are not just space rocks. They are keys to understanding our past, navigating our present, and unlocking our future in the cosmos.